Nashville now one step closer to making one of our deadliest roads a little safer. Our Dryden Quigley shares the changes coming to Dickerson Pike. Every time Constance Beach crosses Dickerson Pike, she says she's taking a risk. I can't run like I used to, but I, I try to do the best I can to get across that street for the hit me. <laughs> she walks to get groceries from her apartment and says there aren't convenient places for her to cross. She has to walk through parking lots to avoid the road. You go this way, no sidewalks. You go that way, there's a half a sidewalk. <laughs> And then you, you break off, so you really need somebody to help you out. They need to get down here and do something. Luckily, they are doing something. On Tuesday, the city approved funding for more crosswalks with flashing lights and better marked walking paths. Last month, they also approved lowering the speed limits by five miles per hour. This is definitely one of the most dangerous roads in Nashville, Dickerson Pike. Carson Ray Ellis says crossing lights like this one make a huge difference to drivers. I don't respect any of them except for this one because it has a red light. The rest of them, they honk, they honk the horn like you're doing something wrong here. The city is targeting the area between Old Trinity Lane and Broadmoor. It's where four pedestrians have been killed in the past two years. If they get more crosswalks, we'll feel safer because, you know, some, a lot of kids and elderly and grown people, look at that, almost a wreck. See there? They need it. This is all part of Nashville's Vision Zero plan to completely eliminate pedestrian deaths. On Dickerson Pike, Dryden Quigley, WSMB4.